welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to episode 31 of Is It <laughs> For today, it's Timu's weirdest items. We'll try all this together and rate it one through 10. Before we start, do your tithing. Subscribe, like, click the buttons, bells, whistles. It helps me to continue to make these really high quality videos here in this bathroom. Cheers. First up, we have paint set earrings. These are $2.70, gorgeous. Comes with all the primaries. Perfect to just whip these out when you don't want to pay attention to whatever you're supposed to be paying attention to. You can just start Bob Rossing it instead. I love them. 10 out of 10. For $2, you can get this. We have a carpet toilet seat cover. Has this nice little detail. We can all agree that this is gross. Honestly, when I was growing up, it was not uncommon to go to someone's house and see a carpeted toilet seat. That was like the thing to do. Carpet your toilet. Also, do you remember those toilet seat things that were jelly and it had fish and aquarium stuff in it? What happened to that? This is a petition to start decorating our toilets again. Bring back toilet decor. I'm excited about it. Wish it was a little thicker. I'm gonna give it an eight. Car spoiler. This is $1.60. It has the adhesive sticker. I think once I put this on my car, people are gonna think I'm a car gal. I'm into cars. If you have a minivan, you need this. Put that on the back of the van. Mine came a little bent. I'm gonna give this a five. Really great, really nice. This is some high quality jewelry. We have a French fry brooch. $2.60 for this. Oh, wow. I'm wearing that to Burger King today. Solid 10. Croc spoilers. $4 and you get two. Oh yeah. Is that how they go? Wait, check these out. They're gonna fly away. Oh, sorry. That looks really good on these Timu Crocs, which I would recommend. These have been really comfortable, really ugly really ugly. I don't wear these in public. They're a little loud for me, but for home use, I wear these in the garden. 10 out of 10. This is the spider terrarium. Comes with the acrylic box with a little sheet of grass. You get a stick, a glass dish, and the dropper. This is $6.50. The gimmick behind this is when you find a little critter in your house, instead of killing it, you trap it in the terrarium. You can water it and observe it through here. I'm gonna put a cockroach in this. This is a great learning experience. Nine out of 10. We have an iPhone case. Sorry, um, they didn't have this for Samsung. Oh no, it doesn't fit my phone. Just pretend it does. Your phone would go in here and then you could hold it and do whatever you're doing. Tendering left to the right, right to the left. Read a book, watch the news. Are you doing that? Don't watch the news. Brainwashing us. Okay, this was $4. I think it's great. I actually like the handle. You're not gonna lose this. Is this high quality? Not really. I'd give it an eight. This is a phone umbrella. I'm gonna open it inside. It comes with this and this sticks here. So when you're outside and you can't see your phone, you can just do that. Or you could just go inside or you could take a break from your phone. This is great. $3.24 for this. I think that's a deal. 10 out of 10. A simulation of a chicken nugget. Chicken nugget simulation, $1.48. Timu has this really large selection of, what is it called? I guess movie prop food, simulated food. I don't know. I've been really into that lately, watching people make fake food. I'd give this a four. Jellyfish earrings. These are $4. Wow. I guess they are a little large. They're not heavy. It's made out of this condom materials. What is that? Plastic latex, 10 out of 10. And they came in a bunch of different colors, blue and green, I think. These are watch sticky notes. You get two of them for $2.50. You can write a note on here so you don't forget stuff. I'm going bowling at 1 p.m. I don't wanna forget that. Oh, it's kind of hard to put on yourself. Stay. Check that out. The sticky stuff isn't the best, but it's gonna work. Solid eight. See you at the bowling alley. This is a bumper sticker for your car. Corn dogs instead of coexist. Not to get religious, but I think this one looks better. This was $2.50, did come a little wrinkly scrinkly, but Timu did send all my stuff in these nice bags like Sheen does. That's an improvement. This is great. I'd give this a solid 10. This is an Ikea bag keychain. It was $2.50. It will fit one pair of paint earrings. It's that same material as an Ikea bag. 10 out of 10. I also got a grocery bag, canvas tote. It says it is what it is and it is not great. $5.50 for this. The quality, it's lacking. This is more of a dollar bag to me, but Timu is raising the prices like everybody else. Shame, shame to Burger King, Timu, and Spirit Halloween. But I do love trash pandas and I do love a tote bag. Gotta have your own bags at Aldi. But to go on a quick rant, here my Aldi now has self-checkout which I find to be extremely annoying. The Aldi cashiers are 
top tier, 10 out of 10 professional checker outer, cashier outers, cashiers. Have you ever seen supermarket suite where you're going fast as hell to get everything? That's what Aldi's like. They want you in and out of that place. Beep, 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 beep. They want you to put your card in before you even know the total, which honestly is a great idea because what the hell am I gonna do? Like, what am I gonna do about the total? I'm not gonna price haggle you. Anyway, now you have to self check out. So you're adding on another 30 minutes to the trip. How do you do that? You gotta get the barcode just right. There's like a 45 degree angle to it. I don't like that. Also, that's taking away some jobs. So we should work on that Aldi. Anyway, this is for my Aldi shopping experience. I'd give it a six. These are banana charms, see that? For your Crocs, or if you have Hawks, the Timu Crocs. Beautiful. You get nine bananas for $4. Those are great. Realistic as heck, I'd give those an eight. This is special. This is a felt book with many pages. Do you see that? And it holds your Croc charms somehow, some way. I don't own a pair of real, hang on, sorry. I got distracted because my Hawks are doing that damn epilepsy thing. When I was looking this up, there's this whole thing called Croctober, which is a celebration of Crocs in the month of October. Kind of like sober October, where you're not supposed to do D-rugs or drink or anything on the month of October. Croctober is you wear your Crocs the whole time in October. Crocs and socks. They also have the Croc cowboy boots, which I'm kind of considering because of the spurs on the back. Anyway, Crocs have a cult-like following, which is, that's really neat. I bet if Jesus wore Crocs, we'd have more people following Jesus. We sure would. We're in October right now. Croctober is happening right now and sober October. So if you've been drinking a little too much wine, just some tea. I love good tea bag. Where was I going with that? I have no idea. Oh, Crocs are cults, Crocs and cults. I think this is great. If you're in the Croc cult, I'd give it a solid five. I feel like it could be a little cheaper. It was $9, did I tell you that? $9 for this, but you get a lot of pages. This is a sushi hair clip. It's got the rice at the bottom, the row, the fish eggs at the top. It is a little large, but it's actually secure, unlike the rest of the clips that we've gotten from Timu, gotten from Timu. This is $1.48 and I'm gonna give it a 10. Oh, if you had space buns, two sushis at the space bun. For $1.34, you can get this Lady Golf tea stand golf ball holder. You put the ball here and this would be a great Christmas present if you're into that kind of thing. Solid 10. Oh, it's in pieces. This is a squat rack pin stand. $9, it comes with the barbell with the weight. Okay. Ugh. This is for your gym bros to put their pins on, but I thought it would be neat as a makeup brush hold makeup brush holder. What do you think? Honestly, it looked a lot cooler on the listing. This looks like junky. I do love junk though. This is a solid, this is a what? Bitch, give an answer. This is a solid seven. It's giving Klepto vibes, but I do like it. These are cat glasses. $2 for one size fits all glasses. Also, my cat, a little update on that. Thank you for all the help. The haircut has helped and the probiotic. She doesn't have those little things anymore and she hasn't been as depressed. Say thank you. The glasses thing, that needs to be longer, but very fun. Fun? Solid one for these. These. <coughs> Sorry, I've been sick again. I'm feeling better. Am I feeling better? I'm not really sure. Oh, look at this. This is a Mario Christmas tree topper. Top goes in the hole, ladies. $4 for this. Wish it was a little bit larger, but that's okay. Still a 10. We have an egg headband worth $3. This would be a great last minute costume, especially if you have an egg obsession like myself. I love eggs. Egg white. Scrambled eggs, fried eggs, boiled eggs, egg yolks. I love eggs. I love eggs. 10 out of 10 for this. Egg tray earrings. Very realistic. They're not too heavy. $1.50, 10 out of 10. Bird whistle. This is $2. It's a piece of paper with some metal on it. Place the bird whistle on the tip of your tongue. Wet the whistle and blow. What the hell is that? I think it's safe to say I need a little practice with that. I'm gonna have to watch a couple tutorials. I'm gonna give this a zero so far, but I think with practice, it could potentially be an eight. Finger surfboard. This goes on your finger and then two fingers here. And then when you're driving, someone else is driving, you can roll down the window and do this. And it'll stay on your fingers with the resistance of the air going this way. I'll show you real quick. It really doesn't get any better than this. For $1.78, endless fun, nine out of 10. These are mini birthday hats. I think it's supposed to say congratulations. It came with these little sticks, put on a cupcake or something. I got this for Henry's birthday. 
It was a couple weeks ago. It just took like four weeks to get this package. But the cool thing was they gave me $13 because it was so late. So it's kind of like these are free. Two out of 10 for this. Tape measure earrings. These are heavy, but I'm gonna wear these to Home Depot. Usually how I measure something is like this. Let me teach you something. Two hands by the breast area. Then you're gonna measure. So if I wanted to hang this piece of work on the wall, I would go like this. The piece of art is this big. Then you just walk your body over and do that and put a pin mark on the wall. Now I can do this. That is seven inches. Could be lighter, but for a dollar, 10 out of 10. This is a ramen ramen noodle pin. That's actually pretty clever. A dollar 47 and I'm gonna give that a 10. That's very TGI Friday. Furby earrings, 89 cents. Very lightweight, it's printed on a piece of plastic. That looks nice, 10 out of 10. We got another pin. This one reads, ask me about my hyperfixation. Since nobody asked, mine is bowling. Let me show you my new bowling shirt, hang on. I just hand washed it. Such a high quality, I don't wanna put it in the washing machine and mess it up. I got this on Amazon, it says Bowling Queen, and they even customized it. Queen Bee is my bowling name. Look at the flames on that. 10 out of 10, I'll link that below if anybody wants to get one. Okay, so when I'm at home, <clears throat> when I'm at home I can play this what bowling game? That kid looks, be nice. That kid looks so happy. <gasps> that actually looks fun. How much was this? Made out of real wood. So you set it up like this and then it comes with a marble. All right. Oh, you can move it. Do you see that? Get your bowling shirt on. That's my hyper fixation is bowling. Boiling water, bowling. I'm gonna be playing that. This was $9. I don't think that's $9 fun, but it's gonna be something to do when I'm supposed to be working. I'm gonna do that instead and see where that gets me. Okay, I think that's it. My favorite thing, I mean, not to be weird, the cloth toilet seat cover. Oh wait, hang on. Forgot about this fanny pack. This was $4 and it's supposed to look like one of those silica do not eat gel throwaway silica things, you know? See that? That's it for our really strange Timu haul. We're gonna end this very fine program with some words of wisdom. You know what we're gonna go with? Embracing change. That's on my mind this week because the seasons are changing and it's not my favorite. I'll be really honest with you. I do get really sad this time of year for no reason at all. My body changes, my feelings change. I get like this inner dialogue of sadness. And this year I decided that's not gonna be my story. This year I'm gonna embrace the winter and I'm gonna tell my body that it loves to be cold and it's gonna believe me. So far it's not really working, but I feel more positive about the experience. Yeah, the theme of this week is just to embrace the change, whatever kind of change that is for you. You get a divorce, the winter, got a new job, whatever the change is, grab it by the balls and embrace it. Anyway, thanks for joining me here for this well, it looks like a bunch of junk. Thanks for joining me for this junk. I'm gonna see you here next week in this bathroom, 1 p.m. Eastern time for, for something else. Don't forget some mystery boxes are gonna be on my website and I'll throw in a bunch of other, like some companies sent me some stuff that I don't want because I don't do any sponsored content or any whatever you call that. It's just too much. Okay, I don't wanna get into that. I'm gonna give you all that. Have a fantastic week because you do deserve it. Do something for yourself. Until then, I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. Damn it, there's another ghost in here turning off the lights. And welcome to episode 31 of Is It Shit? Okay, that's enough. Quit that. Look at the ambiance. You go like this. Put your toes in the dirt. Now it looks like a chicken nugget. Just going around. Those things can move in the middle of a skating ring. Summoning the crows. Nothing like bowling with all those pro athletes out there. Well, let me give you a sister update. The update is there is no update. Whatever, Godspeed. <laughs>